This is a video tour of 833 East 11th Street. And here is view of the front of the home. It has a 3D composition roof on it, which looks a bit wavy on this lower part, but it's kind of hard to see in the video. Uh, just a quick scan of your neighborhood. Um, you've got a neighbor directly to the east of the property here. And you've got this sort of metal bar in front of the property because your driveway goes down to street level. And the first thing I want to say is this driveway is very, very steep. I mean, not just this direction, but specifically at that mark. So I'm going to get closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about on the steepness of this. Um, I had to bring my SUV essentially to a dead stop here in order to get up this without dragging the bottom of my SUV. So um, busier street, you're right across the way from baseball fields. And you can see you've got this little metal barrier here that goes kind of down the block. Okay, so um, walking up towards this property, there is no garage. It's got cement hardy board siding, um, but the siding's got quite a bit of damage on it sort of all over. So we'll do the outside first and then go in. So up here at the top, you can see where paint has just worn off this area. You've got a big break here in the siding. You can see that there is rotted wood behind this siding up here and in that corner. Um, over by the front door, all the paint around this front door is worn off really bad. And so that probably needs to be re-hit. No doorbell. Here is some more evidence of just, you know, broken siding that needs to be looked at over. They've caulked around the door a little bit. Some more damage siding there. Okay. So, I mean, definitely areas where the siding is just not as good as it could be and is starting to peel up and rot and do things like that. So coming around to the east side of this house, right here by this gutter let out is a pretty big crack in the foundation and that's absolutely from water coming out here and you know just sitting right next to the corner of the foundation on that side. And then you can see another decent sized crack here, another one right here. Um, siding along this side of the property looks pretty good for the most part. Um, I mean, still some rot up and around the gutters. And then walking down this back property here, I mean, you've got just a little bit of space between you and the neighbor. Um, caulking needs to be redone on the siding in a couple places. AC unit is definitely older. So again, just some more siding issues here. You can see where this just needs to be re -caulked. And then up above here, you've got a good amount of rot happening right there underneath the gutter area. And this brings you around to this backyard porch. And so the deck could definitely use some love. There's, a, you know, boards that are peeling up. There's rot in different places. Um, same deal at the back door here with the paint just sort of peeling off. And got a different sort of siding kind of up here at the top um, by the roof line. So a little bit of a broken rim around that window. And then the interesting thing here is you've got cement hardy board siding here, but then it transitions to masonite here. And so I'm wondering if masonite was the original and then they put cement hardy board on. A um, couple of just like beauty bands is what I would call them, which is just boards that you put at the bottom of siding so that way you paint them and water doesn't suck up the side. Okay, so this is the backyard space. And as you can see, there's a lot of trees back here. It's very thick. There's kind of a chicken wire sort of fencing situation going on. Okay. Um, back of the house here you can see they boarded up what looks like it was a window um, definitely put bunches of wood putty in the corners there, trying to stop it from rotting you can see here more rot in that corner which seems to be a theme around the edges of these gutters um, and it looks like they have screwed 
this sort of siding in here at the bottom. And I don't know if they did that to kind of like hide the foundation down here, but that's really weird to have something screwed in so you can't see the foundation at all. Um, so lots more siding issues here, which is not completely surprising to me because this area is all in shade and under this larger tree. Um, so again, like the boards are just meeting in sort of a weird place and they've got it screwed in. I don't know why they've got this board at the bottom. Oh, because there's a big hole. So they're trying to block critter from getting in that hole. Okay. So a little bit of a crack there through the cinder block foundation. Decent, good crack right there in that corner. That's pretty substantial. <laughs> and then you've got another one here. Another one here starting one there and one here. So again, just lots of siding issues too. This side porch really is not in great shape. You can see the bottom part of this door is just all completely rotted. That whole door casing is gonna have to be redone. Okay, so by far and away, I mean, your biggest issues are siding for sure. Um, and just, you know, the rot and the maintenance on the outside. So we're gonna turn back to the front door here now that we walked around the whole outside and we'll see what's going on inside. Okay. So you walk into a ceramic tile entryway and you can see that, you know, there's lots of cracking happening on this ceramic tile as you walk in. And there's also like a step up right on the side of the door here. Um, coat closet, what looks like some damage here up by the ceiling. Um, looks like it could potentially have been from water, but I'm not really seeing staining. And big patch there by the corner. You've got this window pass through, okay coat closet here in the entryway. So then when you walk up through this door, I mean, it almost feels like this was built on, like this was maybe initially the front of the house. I don't know that that's actually true, but it kind of has that feeling. Okay, so walking into the house, um, carpets are okay. Um, it smells like they've probably been cleaned and then the house has been shut up. So it has a bit of a musty smell and a bit of a cigarette smell as I'm walking around in it. Um, messy job attaching that light to the ceiling there. And you can see this sort of glass pass through window here that looks back out onto that entryway. So lots of holes in the walls that are gonna need to be addressed, painting, that sort of stuff. Looking into this really large sort of dining room area. I mean, it seems kind of odd to have such a big dining room space and a smaller living room space. I think it would make more sense if maybe the wood was expanded all over so there wasn't such a distinct cutoff. I can see where they have repainted and texturized the ceiling here. And I'm sure it's because of settling that they were repairing. Okay, so um, here's another look at that sliding glass door. And remember, this whole board down here um, was rotted out, this whole board. But on the inside, you can see that, you know, this board hasn't really fared super well either. Uh, there's definitely a little bit of a sag to the floor right here too as I'm walking around on it. It's hard to see, but I can definitely feel it. I mean, there's a very big drop that happens right in this area. Okay, so more ceramic tile here in the kitchen. There are some different colors of tiles. You'll notice that one's more brown. This is more yellow. So it looks like they probably replaced some tiles along the way as they cracked. Um, again, just, you know, need for paint in different places. You've got knocked down ceiling in the property, which isn't bad. Good sized kitchen. There's a lot of space in the kitchen for sure. Okay, and windows appear to be vinyl and double pane throughout the property. Okay, so bedroom directly um, next to the kitchen here. I'm 
sure you could hear that. Just how loose that tile is when I push on it. You can see the tile popping right up off the floor there. Okay. So then back in this room, we're just gonna scan this from the doorway so you can get an idea of the size of this room. It does look like this walks into a very large closet, but it looks to be a shared closet with the next bedroom. So here's that back window um, that I had showed you at the very back of the house that they had boarded up. So that's where that goes. You can see water damage here on the ceiling in several different places. Um, and then just walking through this little closet is gonna bring us into the second bedroom, which is about the same size as the first one we just saw. Um, you know, similar issues, it needs some paint. And you can see where the floor is kind of pulled away from the siding in a couple of places and there's a bit of a gap now from the settling. So fan, double pane, vinyl case window. Again, just another gap around the siding and the floor there. Okay, so kitchen is to my left. Directly in front of me is the bathroom. Um, there's definitely some unevenness in the floor here too. So from just walking from this bedroom to this bathroom, I don't know if you can tell, probably not on the phone, um, there's a pretty big incline just walking towards the bathroom. So ceramic tile floor in the bathroom, several cracks in the tile. Um, from my countertop, bathtub, shower, insert situation here, okay? And then we're gonna go back out of this bathroom. Again, just some more messy patching and stuff on the walls. You have an attic fan above me. Um, and then we're gonna walk into the master bedroom, I would assume. So water damage there in the ceiling, peeling damage on the walls. You have carpet in this room when the other ones had that hardwood. And you've got this vinyl entryway here, which goes to the back. So that back porch that we saw, this is actually how you gain access to that. Um, again, just, you know, messy, messy patching and painting. And then this is gonna be master bath. So same tile in this room, stained up for mica countertop. I don't know if you could get all those stains off of it. And then your laundry is sitting here in the master bathroom. So that really kind of narrows this space. And then you've got another bathtub shower situation. I don't know what this bright purple splatter is, but it's not really coming off. And that's what's on the sink and it's all over this tub. And that looks like a bit of microbial growth there in the bottom. Okay, so damage wall there and then this is the closet for the master which has a bit of a step up on it and then you step into the master closet which just goes around this direction okay that's it let us know what you think